Guys, welcome to the most detailed video on the entire LG's split air conditioner series. In this video, we are going to talk about the latest launches like Art Cool, their all time famous dual inverter and diet cool series. We will also con compare these latest launches with their older brothers that is 2023 models and we will find out what has improved in this latest 2024 series. We will also talk about all the pros and cons which will help you choose the perfect LG air conditioner for you. Let's start with the first point that is series. Now the first and the absolute new blast in this summer season is the Art Cool series. And this thing, oh boy, it looks really sleek. It has got a black mirror finish. And this is going to be an icebreaker if you install it in your house or in your hall. The next uh, option is a dual inverter and LG has started calling their dual inverter series as dual cool these days. These are the regular white boxes but I believe they still look very very good and they are still very relevant today. The third option is diet mode. Actually diet mode is not a different series. It is an extension of the dual inverter series. It's a feature of the dual inverter series which has been introduced in this particular year. Keep watching this video. We'll talk about diet mode in detail in due course. Let's talk about the next point that is tonnage wise models, room size and cooling capacity. And LG has offered a really wide canvas. For example, you get 1 ton, 1.5 ton as well as the heavy duty 2 ton models this year. Their 1 ton models are suitable for small rooms up to the size of 120 square feet and their cooling capacity is roughly 3400 to 3500 watt. I will be using the word roughly because there are lots of models from LG and it might be possible there is small amount of difference between all of them. Their 1.5 ton ACs are suitable for medium sized rooms from 120 to 160 square feet and mostly their cooling capacity is 5000 watts. But unfortunately, I found out that some of their so-called 1.5 ton ACs are coming with a cooling capacity of 4400 watts. Keep watching this video because this thing is going to create a huge problem if you're not paying attention. Finally, their heavy duty 2 ton models are suitable for large halls for the size of 170 to 230 square feet and their cooling capacity ranges somewhere from 6100 to 6300 watts. Let's talk about the star rating and ISR value and this year LG has provided all three options that is 3 star, 4 star, 5 star and their ISR values will be popping up on your screen right here. You can pause the video and check them out. If you are confused a little bit like uh, what kind of ISR value should I go for? Should I save some money and go with a basic 3 star model or should I go with the more expensive 5 star model? What about making a compromise with the 4 star? So I have a dedicated video available for you right over here you can check it out from the i button or in the video description let's talk about the next point which honestly i don't like talking about and this is regarding the cheating in cooling capacity unfortunately i am noticing that since 2023 and yes here we are not specifically talking about lg but a lot of brands are uh, doing this uh, particular thing since 2023 and we are not trying to expose or defame any kind of brand but I believe that as an honest YouTuber it's my duty to bring this information to you guys. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of models these so called 1.5 ton models have started coming with cooling capacity of 4400 or 4600 watt. Now if we come convert 4400 watt to genuine ton the answer will be only 1.25 tons. And if you install this 1.25 ton AC in a room which actually requires 1.5 ton of genuine cooling capacity, then of course the AC will not cool properly and you will not be satisfied. All right. And how to calculate genuine tonnage of any AC? You can watch this video, this particular one after watching this video and you can learn how to read the Kundli of your air conditioner and how to decode all of these values. It's really easy. You can do it. The next op the next point here is indoor features and LG comes with all normal features that you expect from a high quality AC. For example, it comes with antivirus filter. There's four way swing in most of the models. There's AI mode. There is the thin Q diagnostics. There is Wi-Fi available in some models. And the one thing that I like about this thin Q diagnostics is that uh, it works in both Wi-Fi and non Wi-Fi models. And if you want to learn how to use this uh, LG ThinQ option 
be it Wi-Fi or non-Wi-Fi AC which you might have or which you might be considering to buy. You can watch this particular video. Videos available in Hindi and English. I generally make dual language videos. And <laughs> during the course of this video, uh, your LG starts talking like Optimus Prime. It's a really interesting piece of technology. Make sure to watch it after watching this whole video. Now, these were some regular features that we talked about. Let's talk about something special. What's new this year? That thing is diet mode and what LG says is that by utilizing dual inverter compressor technology diet mode slashes power consumption down by almost 80 to 81 percent while ensuring optimal cooling efficiency and this feature is ideal for cost conscious consumers and LG says that your AC can consume as low as 280 watts of power. But guys, let me tell you a secret. I personally use an LG dual inverter AC since 2021. And even back then, I was able to run my AC as low as 230 or even 250 watts. This thing was captured on camera. If you want to see it, the video is available right here. And this diet mode option is generally available in three star ACs. So the problem here is that all right, AC is going to consume less amount of power. But the three star option, the three star model has a cooling capacity of only 4400 watts so it's consuming less power but it's also providing less cooling so basically i think this is mostly marketing but yeah one thing is good that uh, it has a manual button so you don't have to wait for the compressor to slow down and have the room cool to get those magical 200 250 watt numbers you can just press a button on the remote and have it set in diet mode all right and what do you think guys, should we try this uh, LG AC with diet mode on a very small solar inverter that like I did over here. This was just one KVA that is around like 700 watts solar inverter and uh, it was very interesting to test what uh, it did with my LG dual inverter back in 2021. So if you want me to test these new models right now, make sure to let me know in the comments section. The next new feature is energy manager and this energy manager allows you to customize various energy parameters. For example, you can have schedules, you can customize the compressor usage and this feature is mainly for their Wi-Fi models. You can reduce energy consumption by using this particular feature. The next new feature is Virat mode and this feature is honestly not new. It came back in 2022, but it has been updated this year. What used to happen is that back uh, in those days in 2021 or 22, LG used to call it Himalaya Cool and that feature had a time limit of 30 minutes. Later on, it got upgraded to 90 minutes and now in this latest series, you can use the Virat mode for unlimited amounts of time. So what is this Virat mode? Guys, this Virat mode will overclock the compressor of your air conditioner to 110% for faster cooling. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say you have a 1.5 ton AC with cooling capacity of 5000 watts. Using this Virat mode button, you can enhance the cooling capacity to 5800 watts. So your 1.5 ton AC starts behaving like a 1.65 ton. So if you are like really hot and bothered and if there are a lot of guests in the room, then you can use this mode to cool down the room very, very quickly. Let's talk about the next new feature that is him clean and I'm genuinely excited about this one because back in those days when I brought my Samsung Winfrey it came with freeze wash and it was a revolutionary technology back then. So what uh, him clean or what freeze wash does is that it puts a layer of ice on your indoor coil that is on your indoor evaporator and this layer of ice is then defrosted and washed off. And when that layer is washed off, what it does is it, it takes away all of the bacteria, the fungi, any odor producing particles. So if your, L, if your AC is smelling bad, maybe you can use this feature and get rid of bad smell. So it is a very nice feature. Let me remind you that these features are model specific and they may not be present in all ACs. So what I'll do is I'll provide uh, links to variety of models as well as I will provide their features in the description so you can check those particular links you can read about the features and then buy the particular ac which comes with the feature that you want to buy and yes let me remind you that uh, if you want to support my channel please consider using my affiliate links because your purchase price is anyways going to be the same so affiliate links are available in first comment or in the description please consider using them let's talk about the next uh, point that is convertible modes and lg this year comes with six in one convertible options out of that, you get four manual modes that is 40, 60, 80 and 100. 
Then it also comes with auto mode, which LG calls AI mode. And finally, it comes with the Virat mode, which we talked about earlier in this video. And these convertible options can increase the performance of your AC or they can decrease the performance of your AC and increase the power saving. So the entire uh, setting is right in your hands, literally like in your remote. And a lot of people comment on my channel that, sir, are these convertible models of any use or are they any kind of marketing gimmicks? So here are two videos available for you. This is LG. This is Samsung. Um, by putting the AC in various convertible modes, I have shown you the effect on power consumption with the use of variety of multimeters and watt meters. So the live demonstration is present. You can go ahead and check it out after watching this video. Let's talk about the next point that is outdoor features. And this thing comes with dual rotary inverter compressor, which is using eco-friendly R32 gas. And this compressor can provide cooling in sweltering summer of 52 degrees Celsius. So what is the difference between dual rotary compressor and a single rotary compressor? Now these dual rotary compressors, often known as twin rotors, they generally have less noise, less vibration and they also provide very good amount of cooling. This compressor also comes with low gas detection feature to protect in case of any gas leakage or any kind of low gas situation. There are a variety of sensors available in the outdoor unit, namely ADC that is ambient discharge and condenser to optimize the cooling and power consumption. Now LG is using 100% copper coils on both the evaporator and condenser and these copper coils have better life than aluminium coils. And 2024 onwards most of these models have been upgraded to gold fin technology. There are some of the older models that are still coming with ocean black technology. But uh, most of the new models come with cold fin and all the indoor coils, the evaporators have ocean black coating on their U-bends or on the joints. So I, I'll say that both the coatings, be it golden or be it the black one, both of them are pretty good and LG has them both on the indoor as well as outdoor coils. Next, uh, LG advertises stabilizer free operation in the range of 120 to 290 volts. But guys, as usual, I suggest in all of my videos, voltage fluctuation is something which you cannot predict. And these days, even brands have started applying a small little star mark on their stabilizer free operation advertising sticker. So even the brands are aware like, oh, OK, we need to put a star mark on this. So what I'll suggest is that whenever you are purchasing any kind of uh, air conditioner, make sure to go with a branded stabilizer to use along with that AC. And I personally use a variety of stabilizers and their reviews as well as buying links will be available in the video description below. Make sure to check them out. Let's talk about the next point that is manufacturer warranty. So thankfully, LG has provided a very neat package, one year warranty on the whole product, 10 year on the inverter compressor and five year on the PCB. Let me give you a small golden tip that to preserve this warranty, whenever you are installing the AC, make sure to do it with the help of original service center or like the brand authorized technician only. Next, let's talk about the hidden cost. And guys, whenever we go for purchasing any kind of split air conditioner, we should consider at least two to three thousand rupees additional for the hidden installation cost because roughly you will have to pay 1500 plus GST for standard installation. Then uh, you might have to buy additional stand. You may have to extend the copper pipe or you may have to extend the wires which go from indoor to outdoor. Sometimes I've seen that while uh, during my research, there are some free installation offers available on Amazon. Again, so Amazon links are available in the description. If you find that offer, maybe you can save a few bucks. Again, let me give you a golden tip that installation of split AC is one of the most critical parts and it dictates almost 50% life of your air conditioner. So whenever you are installing this AC, make sure to watch this particular video. The video is available in the i button or in the description. Go ahead and check it out and only then install your split AC, be it of LG or be it of any other brand. This thing is really, really important. Let's talk about the most important part of this video that is pros and cons. Coming to the pros, I believe that LG makes really power efficient ACs. LG is honestly known as the king of power saving. And yes, I know why, because I have personally tested their air conditioner using variety of watt meters and clamp meters and multimeters. And I know that they are power efficient. The second pro over here is wide service network. So LG service network is present in almost 
every each and every corner each and every village so that you can rest assured plus there is a good pcb warranty for peace of your mind now coming to the cons there are a few things which uh, left me wanting for more specifically there are three star models which come with only 4400 watt cooling capacity at least they should not be advertised as 1.5 ton lg would have simply said like okay these are 1.25 or 1.3 ton acs that would have been better so other than that i guess there's nothing more to complain about and honestly speaking about the cooling capacity of these acs all of my subscribers i hope they know how to calculate from the cooling capacity to tonnage and if you are not then a subscribe button is available for you below this video make sure to subscribe so that no one can misguide you let's talk about the next point that is conclusion so who can buy this ac and honestly lg has made a very balanced ac it comes with tons of features the quality is good be it indoor be it outdoor there are good amount of coatings on the coils service is good and there was one department which was lacking that was looks so all of the acs looked all the same simple white boxes it wasn't bad honestly but it wasn't special so that thing is now fixed is 2024 especially with the art cool series so i believe that these lg acs appeal to a really wide range of audience and if you're looking for a nice split ac this summer then you should definitely check out lg if you're still confused on which particular ac model to buy what kind of tonnage what kind of features then you can comment in this format use the hashtag ask zen and fill in all the details and put a nice little comment below this video and i'll 100 percent try to provide you with a detailed solution let's talk about the last point of this video that is competition so if not lg what else or what else can i compare this lg air conditioner series with now before making this kind of detailed videos guys what we do is we have hours and hours of research and the summary of all of that research the information regarding all variety of brands are available in my google doc cheat sheet so this cheat sheet is again available for you in the description or in the first comment you can open it. it's a huge file and what i usually do is that i provide all the various models coming from various brands i'll mention the pros and cons of all of those brands and i'll also put the cooling capacity right there for you in the title so that it becomes easy for you to compare different brands and different models of air conditioners and through my research i noticed that there are two main competitors to lg this year one is panasonic which comes with a really nice mirai app a lot of acs come with aqa sensors and l filters and variety of different features which make them really special the second competitor could be blue star this year blue star is providing very good features very good warranty at a very good price both of these videos are available right here so if you want a bit of comparison you can directly click on these particular videos and learn something new today so that's it for this neat little video guys i hope you enjoyed watching it take care and have a nice day